Hey guys, Don Master here. It's a Mac Thursday, and we got some Mac Thin Wrenches, SAE set, and uh, my uh, VIM set, VIM, that I've had for a while. I got from my Mac dealer months ago. Um, that's the MFW100 metric Thin Wrench set. And this set, um, there's no part number on the actual kit here. There might be. Once I get it opened, I'll try to show you. But this is a really nice set that I've been wanting to get. Um, quite a bit more expensive than these. But I'm not a fan of this style um, with the really kind of fat uh, lobster claw style. And they're really kind of sharp when you're kind of pushing down on them. So... Um, Instead of getting another set of these, or I was thinking about getting Capris for SAEs, um, I thought I'd try out the uh, Mac set. And my dealer said that they were in stock and he could get them. Also, by the way, he uh, gave me a sweatshirt for the holidays. Good dealer. Gives me a nice orange sweatshirt. Probably because I buy so much from him. Um, he gave me one last year, too, with the dark gray logo. But anyways, this set's really nice. It goes from uh, 5 sixteenths all the way up to 1 inch. And uh, pretty excited to get it opened up. I haven't even put hands on them yet. Comes in a nice plastic tray. These are USA made. Made in USA. Here's the set number if you guys were interested. They make a metric set also. Uh, it's the SDT6PT. Made in USA. And the number below, it's probably for the package part number. But let me get it opened up and let's take a look. So as you can see, it's got a plastic cover that's not perfect. Um, I don't know if I'll keep it on it or not, but I'll set that there for now. And the sun's shining right in my truck right now. So the glare is kind of crappy, but I'll kind of try to block the sun so we can get a better look at these. You're seeing all the dust and fingerprints um, is what you're seeing. I'm sure they'll clean up better. I'm just going to wipe them down really quick so they look nice. All right, so super nice set. I got it wiped down. Fingerprints are off of it. Um, Freaking nice looking wrenches. Uh, let's start with a big one. So I'm not sure why they put the sizing upside down on this side. Maybe they just, it's just something Mac does with the double-sided wrenches but uh, it says here warning low torque use only USA and they are pretty thin I think they are a little bit thicker than the Vim ones but we're gonna compare that in a sec um, man they smudge up chrome smudges up so bad and I'm so picky because they're brand new so anyway that's the 1 inch and 15 sixteenths. This one is a 7 eighths and a 13 sixteenths. Super nice. And then 3 quarter, 11 sixteenths. Nice chrome finish on these, man. 5 8 9 16 and they got part numbers on them all. Mac. That nice Mac logo on there. Half inch, 7 16 And they're all pretty long, pretty good size. Um, you know, for a 5 16 and 3 8 this is a long wrench. Um, I think it's going to work great. I, uh, feel like I'd use a SAE 
thin wrenches more for like jam nuts and air tools and all sorts of stuff and i just i figured why not try a usa brand of uh, thin wrenches because the most common ones are the vim and the capris i think and maybe the duratex um and i just i wanted something a little bit nicer a little bit better quality and uh I noticed that the edges on here are rounded, which is nice. They don't, they won't cut, dig into your hands as bad. I know they're low torque only, but trust me, you'll push on these from time to time, and they're not going to cut into my hand uh, like these Vims do. Like I use the 13 quite a bit on Fords, and man, like when you're pushing down on this, like it really starts getting into you because um, the edges aren't really rounded up. Um, so it puts a lot of pressure on you. Um, so this is a 12 and a 13. So let's grab the half and 9 sixteenths. I guess this is fairly comparable. And depth wise, they're pretty similar. Uh, the Mac is a little bit thicker, I think. Um, if you stand them on top of each other and I grab them and turn them like this you can see the Vims are definitely thinner but not by a whole lot so I don't think that's going to be an issue for me um, I mean how thin do they really need to be I mean these are really thin and they're just nice so I'll have to use them I haven't even used them yet you guys saw me open them <clears throat> they showed up he had them sitting on his thing for me right when I got on the truck, so that was pretty exciting. Um, this is the first set of Mac USA wrenches that I've ever purchased. Um, I did order them a while back, uh, and I figured out oh, why not get the thin wrenches from Mac since they offer them. Snap-on has their USA thin wrenches they're really expensive though i'm pretty sure they're about 500 bucks maybe i'm i'm pretty sure they're 500 or more got that snap-on tax but these these weren't so bad um i think they were like 250 250 or 300 i think they're under 300 so for that that's what I got to show you guys today, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this little little show here. Nice red case. I think these are gonna look good in my wrench drawer. And uh, these, for some reason, they just don't look right in my wrench drawer. That satin finish, and they they just look cheap. I'm not trying to like dog on Vim or anything, but um. Like, why do you need, why do they, Capri does this too. I don't understand why they have to make this so fat and wide. It just looks stupid. And it, it's kind of too big in certain situations. Like, why do you need that much wideness? You know, you put the half inch there, the Mac, and it's like way better. It just seems like a normal wrench. I don't get why some of these companies can't just thin down a regular wrench why do they have to have all this extra girth here if someone in the comments wants to let me know if there's an actual reason why they do that that would be great because i'm curious because that's i don't like it it's gotten in the way for me and i'm probably just going to sell these and get the uh the mac usa metric set the mac uh, metric set is a little bit cheaper than this because there's less less pieces in the set I think it's a five piece set. This is a six piece set because it goes up to one inch, which is going to be really handy for hydraulic fittings and whatnot. Um, I should see if they have bigger ones than this, but uh, with that, hope you guys liked it. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and have a good rest of your day.